Hey, how's it going, guys? So here I have our finals match from this weekend or last weekend at Fire and Dice. Uh, I have on my right Daniel Collins, uh, which is playing Zoark Galissapod, and then on our left we have Jackie, uh, which is playing uh, I think Zoark Galissapod as well. Uh, so they're playing the mirror match, which is always fun. Um, we do see Daniel Collins did start with. Um, a tapu coco and he did open up uh zor uh, he did open up lele uh to get a bridget and then bridget it for two zora and a wimpod and we see on jackie's side um he opens up lele as well he gets with his bridget he gets a pseudo wudu and also uh, a wimpod and a zora um, it's interesting to see the pseudo wudu because uh, counter counter energy is the card that he's using to kind of operate it, and it has a double uh, use because you can use it with that, and you can also use it with the stand in Zoro, which I think he's running as well. So that's really smart on his end. Um, so we do see Daniel Collins play an N. He does get um, a Galissapod from that. He had already placed the DC on the Tapu Koko, so uh, he's gonna spread some damage right now. Uh, and then he does flying kick and spreads 20 damage across the board. So Jackie draws, he gets an evil soda off his top deck, which is really good. Gets a Zora a Zor GX and then plays an N of his own. So they're both going to shuffle and uh, draw six cards. So we do see trade, gets rid of an Ultra Ball. We do see him get another Zorark. I can kind of see the the Guzma creeping in his hand, so later on he will be able to use that. Um, and he retreats to Tapu Koko, brings up Zoroark, knocks out that Tapu Koko GX in the active. So it's now Daniel Collins' turn, and he now has to deal with the Zoroark GX, um, which is kind of pretty tanky for him. So uh, he does trade, gets rid of an Ultra Ball as well. Uh, we do see a Milo play from him. He's going to grab two cards, put them on top of his deck, and then he's going to trade his secondary Zoroark. So it's going to be very interesting to see what he he grabs from this. More than likely a DCE and uh, something else. Oh, a parallel. That is really good right now. Um, we do see him play parallel, gets a floatstone, retreats, and brings up Galissapod, does first impression for 120. And before he does all of that, drops an enhanced hammer to get the DC out of the Zoroark. So now, uh, Jackie has to kind of uh, recover by getting another DC. So he does trade, gets rid of a Sycamore from his hand. He plays Cynthia, so he's going to shuffle his own hand and draw six cards. Oh, we do see an evil soda. Gonna go for a Glissapod. Oh, we do see the second trade go through. Uh, we see Grass Energy and Max Potion heals up the Zoark and then passes the turn. Uh, so we do see DC Choice Band come down from Daniel Collins and then he, he, he drops a Cynthia. So he's gonna draw six cards. Uh, he does trade away a Mew. Uh, in this matchup, he doesn't really need the Mew for anything. Uh, we are going to see an Ultra Ball. Uh, getting rid of a Guzma and a Cynthia to get another Zora on the bench. And we're going to see um, Armor Press for 100. Or 130 because of the Choice Band. Uh, we do see Field Blower. He gets rid of the, the Choice Band and the Parallel. Leaves the Floatstone on the Zoroark on the bench. Uh, we do see uh, Jackie play Tapolele. Going to pick up... Uh, Gonna grab an Acerola. Uh, we do see Trade gets rid of um, Guzma. More than likely, we're gonna see Acerola pick up this Zoark that's active, bring up the Glissapod, and do first impression for 120. And hits him with um, a hammer uh, before he initiates the attack to get rid of the, the DC that the Glissapod had on it. Daniel Collins trying to figure out what he wants to do in this position. 
he can kind of if he has it in his hand on Mallow, he can dig for another DC, attach it, and just continue armor pressing, and that'll kind of slowly win him the game. Uh, but maybe Daniel Collins has something else planned out. Uh, so he does have double puzzle. He's going to get back parallel. And maybe... Oh, Wimpod. That's interesting. Uh, I guess he, he. I guess he's trying to win this match with Galissapod. And that's actually very smart because Galissapod's armor press does make it hard for um for jackie to win so he parallels himself reduces his bench to three and that means that um jackie's galissa pods are doing now 20 less damage and then on top of the armor press another 20 less as well so that's a total of 40 damage less that they uh that jackie's galissa pods are doing uh jackie does get a mallow um it's gonna shuffle up and get two cards so we do see a trade, gets rid of a Galissapod, and he does um, he does uh, armor press for the knockout. So we do see Acerola uh, f being thrown away for the trade. Uh, we do see an N, so Jackie's going to draw three, and Daniel's going to draw five. So he does retreat, brings up Zoark, does one or one, two, three, four, does eighty at the hundred and ten. But yeah, sorry, I had to had to math there. Actually hundred and ten minus twenty because of um because of armor press. Uh, we do see Guzma adds an energy to the Lele retreats and brings up the wind pot that was on the bench and knocks it out. Uh, so now it's Daniel Collins' turn. Daniel Collins in a really tight position. Uh, he's um he has five prizes left to Jackie's. Jackie's just been able to kind of turn this match around. He kind of was, uh, Daniel Collins did get an amazing start, um, but I guess just the way that it was positioned, I guess he kind of lost his rhythm. So yeah, which is unfortunate. Um, so, but we're not counting out Daniel Collins yet. He might still have something up his sleeve, so we do see him play two puzzles, getting back a field blower and deciding what else he wants to grab. He ends up grabbing a Lele. Alright, we're gonna see Field Blower. Gets rid of the choice pan. Decides to keep the uh, parallel city. Oh no, gets rid of the parallel city as well. I we see Lele. Lele for Cynthia. Play Cynthia. Um, um, I'm guessing he didn't have the N, um, which is it kind of sucks because N would have been perfect for this this scenario. Uh, but I guess he ran out of Ns. So we do see Zoark uh, get a knockout from this Galissapod, uh, thanks to Choice Pen. So we do see Jackie trade. We do see uh, Bridget from Jackie's side. He, he's grabbing two Zoras, putting both of them on the bench with Bridget. We do see Double Puzzle, grab a DC Hammer, gets rid of uh, the DC from Daniel's uh, Zoroark, and then attaches DC to his Pokemon, does right its beating for 120. Um, so now it's Daniel Collins' turn. We do see Acerola, so he does pick up that uh, Zoroark that just got damaged. We do see Zora, uh, he plays the Zora, attaches DC Choice Band to another Zoroark, the one without the Float Zone retreats, brings that one up, and then uh, does 130 to the active Zoroark. So now it's Jackie's turn. Jackie trades, gets rid of that N, has no use for it now that he's kind of ahead of the game. Uh, does play a Mallow. He's gonna grab two cards and add him to his um, add him to his uh, put him on top of his deck and then add him to his hand with trade. So he kind of glant he kind of revealed them to us, but not to Daniel. But he he's grabbing two puzzles. Um, 
more than likely gonna pick up those uh, pick up that uh, enhanced hammer and get rid of that DC and then probably pick up another another tool that he needs so yeah so we do see that hammer and he does right his speeding for 120 we do see trade we see a Galissa pot come out with an energy and that is it for game one um, very smart on um, Jackie's side. Sorry, I, pa I like froze for like two seconds. <laughs> uh, very smart on Jackie's side, uh, grabbing back those hammers. Um, seeing that Daniel didn't really have that much recovery and that he already played four of his puzzles, uh, he knew very well that he kind of had them where he wanted them. So yeah, uh, it's very unfortunate because Daniel did have an amazing start. Um, so yeah, but hopefully he turns it around for game two. Um, Daniel's going to start uh, us off. So he does open up a Zora and a Wimpot, and we get a hard cast, a hard cast Bridget, which is always good. Uh, so he's grabbing another, another Wimpot, and a Zora, and he attaches uh, Grass Energy to Wimpot, and Jackie responding with his own hard cast Bridget no Lele for either one of these guys during this match he's gonna grab another Bridget added to his uh, he's grabbing the Bridget adding three Pokemon to his bench two Zoras and a Wimpod looks like Jackie's already to a great start he's passing the turn goes to Daniel Collins he plays Cynthia after attaching a DC to a Zora he's gonna draw six cards Looking for a Zorark so he can kind of get rid of this pseudo Wudu. And Ultra Ball gets rid of, uh, I can't really tell what he got rid of, but getting that uh, Zorark GX into his hand, he could do see a trade, gets rid of uh, a choice ban, and then he parallels uh, Jackie to three and knocks out the Zora, or knocks out the pseudo Wudu that's active. So Jackie gets an Evo Soda, plays it, looking for a Zorark. Uh, we do see Tapo Lele come down. That That's pretty much it for his bench. He's now at three Pokemon, but he does have a Wimpot and a Zorark, a Zora already. So he, he's in a pretty good position. Uh, going to go for a Mallow, gets two cards, puts them on top of his deck. You are going to see Trade. Gets rid of that Mew that he kind of doesn't need in this match. Uh, we are going to see Double Puzzle gets back an evil soda and the pseudo wudu i guess he, he he feels that the pseudo wudu is a very 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 important piece to winning this match and i think so because it knocks out uh zorks after it kind of revenge kills zorks so yeah um so we do see fuel blower gets rid of the parallel city And he ends up passing. Danny Collins does trade, gets rid of that Mew, draws two cards. We do see a Mallow from Daniel's, Daniel's side. Draws two cards, puts them on top of his deck. Hopefully he has a Zorak in his hand so he can evolve and trade into them, but he already traded once, so he doesn't. So we're just going to see him ride his speeding for 120 and passes the turn. We do see double trade um, from... Jackie. Uh, we see another Bridget come down from Jackie's side. He only goes for a Zorora uh, and drops the pseudo Wudu with that counter energy and knocks out that uh, Zoark that just caused them some heartache. <laughs> and we see Danny Collins come up with his own Zoark with uh, DC, knocks out the pseudo Wudu. But but before doing that, does play Field Blower, gets rid of the Float Stone from that Zorark on the bench. Uh, Jackie does promote his uh, Zorark. We do see an Ultra Ball coming down from Jackie's side, probably going for a Galissapod. If he doesn't already have a trainer in his hand, if not, he's going to go for a Lele. What are you going to go for? Show us, Jackie. And, uh, yep, going to go for a Lele. And grabs Cynthia. Now we do see Hammer and then plays Cynthia. So he's going to shuffle, draw six cards. 
do see max potion kills of that Zorak that's on the bench. And we do see DCE. And we see trade gets rid of an N. And then Righteous beating for 120. Daniel Collins trying to figure out what he wants to do. Uh, kind of in a very awkward position. Jackie building up that board again. Uh, we do see Daniel go for, uh, plays two puzzles, goes for two DCEs. Uh, we're probably going to see a DC uh, attachment soon, but we do see double trade gets rid of two Ultra Balls. We do see an Ace Roller picks up his damaged Zoroark and brings uh, down another Zora and evolves the Zora, Zora that he already had. We do see the DC attachment does 120, uh, or actually 100, to Zoroark. We see Jackie place uh, Grass Energy on his Galissapod. OET Guzma picks up that win pod and does first impression 120. <clears throat> uh, we do see Daniel uh, promote a win pod. We do see trade. We see another trade. So that's three trades. So he's out of trades. He's, I think he's digging for um, a Guzma uh, to get this um, door back up. And then he gets it, plays a Lele, searching for a supporter, adding it to his hand. This Zoroark on Jackie's side is going down right now. We do see him grab an Acerola. Uh, I guess he's prepping that for next turn. Does right his speeding for 130. Gets a knockout on that Zoroark. So we see Galissapod come up. Uh, we do see trade from Jackie's side. Jackie looking at his hand, trying to figure out what he wants to do. We do see trade. That will be his second trade. We see a fuel blower getting rid of that uh, choice band from Zoroark. And then drops two puzzles. Gets back that pseudo Uru and counter energy. And he's about to knock out this Zoroark. It's so painful to watch. It really is. Uh, so we see Daniel Collins promote his Zoroark GX with that DC. So he is going to knock out this, um, this pseudo Uru. Um, we are seeing an ultra ball play. He's trying to figure out what he wants to discard from his hand to, and then search for a Pokemon. It does get rid of a Tapu Koko. Now we do see a Galissapod come down from Daniel Collins' side. Uh, Grass Energy attached to that Float Stone uh, on the Zoroark. And looks like Daniel plays an N. Uh, gonna put um, Jackie at 1 and himself to 2. Hopefully this kind of lets him recover from this um, position that he's in. We do see trade for a Bridget, trade for a trade a Evil Soda. We do see the retreat into the Glissapod. Glissapod does first impression for 120, knocks out that Soda Wooda. We do see trade, trade from Jackie's side. Jackie kind of just slowly, slowly winning this match. And uh, we see Daniel get... Um, Tapolele grabs Guzma. Jackie counting how many cards uh, Daniel has left. We do see trade. We do see another trade. We see double puzzle. These will be Daniel's last two puzzles. Uh, we do see Guzma brings up Lele. Uh, we do see Floatstone and then uh, knocks out the Lele. So Daniel Collins does take game two. Uh, which is an amazing, amazing comeback. That pseudo wudu is deadly. It is not a nice card, but yeah. But it is smart that um, that Jackie's playing it. Uh, he can also use it with Tapu Coco, which I totally forgot that it's a basic or it's not a non GX or EX Pokemon that can use Counter Energy. So yeah. So. Uh, I don't know if he plays stand-in. I haven't seen it. I don't think he does. But if he did, that would be also another use for it as well. So, yeah. So, Jackie's going to start us off. He does start off with Bridget. Uh, he's going to grab a Tapu Koko, a Wimpod, and a Zora. Uh, he opened up Zora anyways and has another Zora on the bench. Uh, attaching Grass Energy to Wimpod. 
and pass his turn. Daniel Collins uh, has his own Bridget that he's playing, grabbing two Tapu Kokos and two Zoras. Uh, he does retreat with Wimpod's effect. We see Galissapod come down on Jackie's side. So, and we see Guzma. He's probably going to pull up that Wimpod just to deal with it now. Um, or actually, he goes for Azora, uh, which is interesting, and knocks it out. So, Jackie already to a lead. We do see another Bridget come down from Daniel Collins' side. He does get Azora, and he goes for triples, uh, his secondary, uh, his fourth Azora. So he's trying to get those um he's trying to get those um Zora up and running. I don't know if that's the the best move because um that that pseudo wudu is just going to punish you later on. But I guess cuz you want to outspeed your opponent in this case because of the mirror. So I I can see where he's trying to go. So we do see Jackie um playing Ultra Ball. He's searching, he grabs a Zora uh, Evolves a uh, Azora, plays Acerota, picks up that that Galissa pod, plays the Wind pod, retreats with Tapu Coco, and brings up Zoroark for first impression for a hundred. Uh, we do see trade gets rid of a Guzma. Uh, we do see another trade gets rid of an N. Daniel Collins trying to figure out what he wants to do. I think that was a Guzma. Yeah, we are going to see a Guzma pulls up that wind pod. Uh, knows that that wind pod is going to be a really, really bad headache later on. Later on, so it's trying to deal with it now. Uh, does hit it and knocks it out. We do see an Ultra Ball from Jackie's side. Uh, grabs a Lele, grabs a Sycamore. Uh, I think he has no cards in his hand anyways, so he's going to play the Sycamore and draw seven cards. Now uh, we do see Trade. We see a second trade. Uh, we see another Zorark come out. We see a third trade. So we see Field Blower gets rid of that uh, that parallel that parallel city that was getting giving him such a hard time. Uh, we do see a Zora come down and does Rite is beating for a hundred. Uh, we do see trade gets rid of a bridge trade again gets rid of a glissa pod <coughs> uh we do see acerola so picks up that uh that zorg that had damage uh we do see him play dc choice pan on the top of coco and does flying flip does 50 to the active and 20 to everything across the board very smart on Daniel Collins' side to do a flying flip right now to kind of start chipping away at these Pokemon so then it's easier for him to, to get those uh, finishing kills. Uh, so we do see trade from from Jackie's side. We see a secondary trade and a third trade. We see double puzzle. Grabs a wind pod and floats them. We see him play the wind pod, plays Guzma, brings up uh, Zoar, plays the float zone, retreats it, knocks out that type of, or knocks out actually the Galissa pod. Sorry. I think there was a hammer somewhere in between there because that type of Coco is missing its DCE. So yeah, so we see. Uh, Ultra Ball gets rid of a Field Blower and a Rescue Stretcher. Probably gonna go for. Hmm. I actually don't know what he what he's going for. Maybe Guzma to deal with the Wimp Pod or Cynthia or N to draw cards. I don't know. So oh, the Ultra Ball for Lele. And then Lele for N. There you go. And DC attached to... Oh, the, the Tapu Koko still has its CC. For some reason, I thought it, it was gone. My mistake. So we do see trade. 
uh, trade again trade one more time We see fuel blower gets rid of that uh, float stone and we see another flying flip uh, does 20 across the board and 50 to this Zorg in the active. So we see trade twice from Jackie, trade a third time. We see another Zorg, so he'll be able to trade four times in one turn. We see Mallow. Now we see the last trade go down. Now we see Max Potion DC knocks out that uh, that Tapu Coco, and he Daniel Collins decides to concede because he he knows that uh, if the game, I think he had something prized that he needed, um, so he, he wasn't able to finish off the match and decided to concede, which is the honorable thing to do, you know. So yeah, guys. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying doing them for you guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the video with anybody that wants to know how finals went down at the League Cup last weekend at Fire and Dice. Uh, this weekend, I'm not doing anything Pokemon related. Like, I'm not going to League Cups, in other words. So I don't have anything for you guys. But this will wrap it up i'll try to figure something out for this week as footage wise if not i'll probably just take the week off but yeah guys with that said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time